it was like Frank Sinatra to me. That's, that's who he was. He was like, you know, modern day Frank Sinatra up there. Saying those words like that with the music behind him and his, his attitude and fasana, it was like I was in awe the whole time. Me and my friends, we stood on the side and, and watched it, and I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that rap would go that far. Man. Classic hip hop just means to me that means the uh, the it's just dope to everyone. Everybody likes this. You know, hip hop is we might like. Uh, I don't like that artist, but I like this one. The classic one we all like. To me, Illmatic was guaranteed classic, especially in his time when it came out. And, but that's what made him so different from the guys before him to me. Like that was talking about the ghetto, Big Daddy Kane, dope lyricists, and they never explained what happened in the inner city of Brooklyn. All of these guys was out, you know, it's like, yo, this has to be dope. Then you don't know if you're ever gonna come out again. He took about two years to make that album, to make the eight to 10 songs that he made. But they was all like thought out lyrics, well thought out. He was really nervous about putting out some whack. He didn't know it would get five mics and everybody says it's the classic, or oh, you're the best and all. We didn't know that at all, he didn't know that. I always thought he was the best. Before he had a record deal, I used to tell people, my brother's the best rapper ever, but I don't, he never thought that, and he never, he just wanted to be dope. Yeah, we grew up with um, one of those album houses, and my mother would tell us to go get toys, and he'd be like, no, come on, we're going over here, and we'd get lost in the store, because he's buying Michael Jackson albums and stuff. Then I tried to buy an album. My first album I bought was the Rocky Three soundtrack. He never played with toys, nothing, always records. He needs a typewriter. He needs other only stuff to be who he is now. I always said Nas was not a rapper. He was a musician. He was gonna be in the music business whether rap was made up or not. I used to see pictures of him, on, my father on stage playing the instruments and Nas would be like, right there. Harlem at those nightclubs and stuff, doing the blues, playing the blues. And he, he played almost any any instrument. We thought we was men at 12 years old and stuff. You know, my father, I was a man at 13. So, you know, we thought we was men at 13 too. We had rules, but not really. We made, we, we could do a lot with our minds, you know. My mother let us use our minds. And once we thought we was grown, it was it. That was it, we hit the world. We was on our way to Premier Studio and he lost, um, all his rhymes, the bag, book bag full of rhymes. So he didn't know what to do. He's like, oh my God, I can't make the records. I lost my whole life of rhymes. I think when the album was done, cause he had wrote his address and stuff in it, somebody mailed it back, but we didn't need it no more cause he wrote a bunch of new material. They didn't know what they had, that person, right? It's like a trophy. It's like something to keep forever. This is crazy. This is my brother, yo, he worked so hard. He went so hard. Wish my moms could see stuff like this. She does, but this is incredible. There's people I know that wasn't born when the album came out. And for that, for them to even know Illmatic, oh, I like this song. Um, nah, I'm doing. I'm like, oof, like, because it doesn't. It didn't have to be like this in life. You know, he could have just got drunk, made a yeah album. You know what I mean? Not care. Went back to the projects. Went to Rikers Island. Like, you know what I mean? We didn't have to be like this, and it's, it's so dope to be like, and I'm so happy, and like, whoa. Let me take a trip down memory lane. Remember looking